Welcome to Webo Tech Academy. My name is Mr. Poban Kunya, and today in this video, we'll be learning how can we design the products page of our project. So let me click on the login now button. So now I can see the authenticate page. And after authenticating the account, now I am able to see the dashboard page where I can find some links above in the navigation bar as well as there are some shortcuts in the home page and there is a footer message as well so what in this section what i will do i will simply copy this page all right and let me go to the sublime editor and let me copy the inter page of dashboard.html create a new page and uh, let's name it as products.html okay so uh almost all the things will be same and instead of welcome back harry here i'll be right as uh, my products my products okay uh, let's go to products page now and here i can see my products and here as i have already said we'll be designing a single product e-commerce application uh, mobile application specially so uh, here i will be giving the option to edit uh, that product that particular product from this page all right so uh, let me uh, let me remove this let me remove this section reload okay perfect uh, call md2 okay perfect and div this is for uh, let me collapse the uh, navigation then this is for the container okay and uh, just below this container i'll be opening a new container div class container uh, it will be container and here i'll be creating a row div class equal to row uh, let me close this div and here i'll be creating two columns div class equal to call md3 call md3 and one more column on the right hand side which will be call md9 3 plus 9 equal to 12 and here i'll be showing the image of this product and here i will be showing all the information of the product so let's reload so this is the image and these are all the other informations which we shall be uh, using for the product so uh, let me go to amazon.com amazon.com and copy some images so that i can use it in this section so let me copy this product uh, save image so here i'll be writing product there's one dot jpj i'll be saving some more uh, pictures of the same product uh, this is the product two product two and product two and this will be product three so all total there will be three images for this product and let me copy all these images to the uh, image folder so that we can fetch it directly from that folder okay second image and this is the third image all right okay so let's go to sublime and uh, here i'll be using image source equal to assets then img then product product one dot jpg okay let me reload this page now okay the product is loaded here and here i have to give it a height of like 300 pixel okay it's looking perfect now and let me align this product in the center of this div okay the product is aligned in the center and just below this product i'll be showing two more images of the same product so here just after this image i'll be creating one row and i'll be creating two separate columns div class call md6 which will be 50 percent and again div class call md6 which, which will be another 50 percent i'll be copying this one and i will put it here and uh, this will be product 2 and height will be 100 and again i'll be copying this line and i will use it here and which will be product three and height will be 100 pixel okay so it's looking perfect now but we can use one more image here so let me uh, copy one more image i think this will be fine or i can do one more thing instead of creating uh, two divs i can create total of three divs let me duplicate this div and here i'll be showing the product image one as well let me reload it now yeah it's looking perfect so here i'll be giving a margin empty uh, three and let me check yeah it's it's working pretty perfect and on the right hand side of this page uh, we'll be showing some information like product name product 
price product description and uh, something like that okay so let's create a form on the right hand side this is the left hand side which is column d3 and this will be the right hand side d class equal to row here we'll be creating a row but it's not so necessary let me remove the row and let me create a form here form equal to uh, now i will be uh, creating a div which will be row div class will be row sorry div class is row and then div class equal to call md12 instead of 12 i can also use call md6 and here i can use one input field uh yeah but just before the input field i want to give a level for that input field which will be product name product name and let me keep it 12 product name and now the input field type equal to text name equal to product name and name equal to product name and the class will be form control and there will be a placeholder uh and uh, sorry uh, we don't have to use placeholder because in this page we'll be only editing the product we will not insert any new product from this page so uh, we don't have to write any placeholder but we, we should use one value of this input field which will be this is a multivitamin so let me put this value here and let's check how it's looking product name it's something like this and in the product name i can give it a strong text so that there is a clear distinction between the headings yeah yeah it's looking cool now product name then here i will be using margin bottom three margin bottom three okay now i'll be duplicating this one with a new value and let's check so here instead of input type text what i will do uh let me give it uh, let me create two columns now one for price and the one for regular price and the other is for the sale price here i'll be writing as regular price regular price in dollars or rupees or euro whatever you think is the best for you and here i'll be writing regular price and the value will be something like 699 and let me reload this page yeah regular price 699 and i'll be duplicating this d and here i'll be writing sale price and sale price will be like 499 and let me reload it yeah sale price is 499 let me duplicate this div once again okay so here instead of writing call md6 i'll be writing call md12 and here i'll be writing the description this field will be for the description and instead of input type text here i'll be writing text area okay and the class will be form control and then we have to define a name and for this section let's give the name as product description product description desc and let me reload it yeah it's working pretty perfect so let me copy a few lines and paste it here okay this is two months i don't want to use so much of text uh, let me visit one website called lipsum and uh, from this website let me copy a few lines the first pair and uh, i'll be putting this information in this section let me reload yeah it's looking cool and i want it a bit big like this so i have to define the height for this uh, text area style height equal to something like 300 pixel and let me reload it once again yeah 300 is too much i have to give it like 150 or 120 okay 120 is too less let me check with 160 Okay, it's perfect now. And on the bottom, I want to use a new div, which will be for the button. So div class equal to call md12, call md12 with no margin bottom or margin top. And now here input type equal to button and name equal to submit and class equal to form control. And sorry, class is not equal to form control. Class will be btn, btn warning let's check now yeah perfect and yeah let me use a value here value equal to submit reload yeah it's working submit or i can also use update product here it's looking cool and here i want to give it a style with text align equal to center 
Okay, perfect. It's looking pretty perfect now, and it's almost done. The product page is almost done. So instead of my products, I should write here my product because there is one single product for this page. So let me expand this section, and here it's my product. So till now we have completed quite a number of pages. If I click on WeBotep Academy or if I click on uh, Flutter PHP, this is the login page, this is registration page, and this is the forward password page. And if I uh, go to the index page and if I fill up the form and click on login now button, uh, it's taking me to the authentication page. After authentication page, we can see a nice and clean dashboard. And if someone clicks on the dashboard, the same page gets appeared. If someone clicks on products, then my product, one single product will be appearing here. And if someone clicks on orders, the order page will get appeared. Here I have forgot to uh, include the upload images option. So I have to write. So here, just uh, above the button, I have to write one new div. Let me copy this div. And this will be called MD4 since there are four images. One, two, three. Sorry. Uh, yeah, since there are three images. So let me close this div. And here I'll be uh, input type equal to file and name equal to photo one, photo one, and class equal to form control. Similarly, two and three. Here, the name will be photo two, and here, the name will be photo three. So these are the three, uh, these are the three uh, file chooser. We can upload any photo here, and the photo will be appeared in this section, all right? And just below it, there is the update product. If I click on update, the product will get updated and it will be displayed on the application mobile application which we will be designing in the later part so in the next video we'll be designing the order space using simple html and css and the framework called bootstrap thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel